In 2010, some of you may remember, President Obama in his State of the Union address said, we need more production, more efficiency, more incentives. And that means building a new generation of safe, clean nuclear power plants in this country. And both sides of the aisle, Republicans and Democrats, stood up like he just talked about motherhood and apple pie or saluted the military. We're all at Oak Ridge. The morning that we showed up, one of the Oak Ridge guys came in with an announcement from the Chinese Academy of Science. We are going to do this. We're going to own the IP. So you would think someone in our government would say, maybe you shouldn't keep giving away this information. Coming back with what will be built, again, it's light water reactors. I don't understand how, what's going on here. Why are we spending money to build reactors based on the same concept that we have been building ever since uh, World War II? I believe that the light water reactors for the foreseeable future will be a bridge between the industry of today and an industry of tomorrow. What we've got is not a bridge to tomorrow, but a, but a protection of the status quo. The current system incentivizes reactor designers to develop their first projects outside of the United States. And in fact, this has already happened. NRC regulations specifically spell out prohibitions against fluid-filled reactors. You cannot operate fluid-filled reactor more than one megawatt without expensive license process. We'd like the demonstration facility to generate meaningful results for a full-size plant on the order of 20 megawatts thermal any smaller than that and it really it becomes a different machine yeah but just the, the thermal hydraulics even would be so different that it wouldn't really be a valid comparison canada has a, uh, a fundamentally different regulatory environment for nuclear power which is i would say very progressive we do feel that we have a competitive advantage by pursuing this technology in canada specifically we don't do big science anymore here in the united states we don't china is India is, the Czech Republic is, Jan Ulich. He's got a great budget and he bought an obscene amount of fly for pennies on the dollar from Oak Ridge National Laboratories because he's doing big science over there. And we, we basically gave it away. Currently there is no way for us to build a prototype facility or move beyond the laboratory scale work that we're currently doing. We want more than anything to do this in the U.S., but we've been forced to keep an open mind with respect to the other, the other pathways we could take.